Hi guys, my name is Bill. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the door on a top freezer refrigerator. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so to show you what I'm talking about, this is the gap on the top of the door. This is why it needs adjusting. Can you see I open that up and there's, you can see right into the refrigerator when the door is shut and that's going to leave moisture and all kinds of warm air and stuff inside the refrigerator compartment your shelves will have water and stuff on them plus it'll run more than it's supposed to so we're going to adjust this and get that taken care of the tools you're going to need is going to be a socket set and a hammer so let me explain to you real quick and show you on the refrigerator what i'm going to do and how it's going to work that way you have an idea of what to do whenever you have to adjust your door here's a look at the front of the refrigerator now i'm going to try my best to explain this before i do it now this hinge right here is going to stay stationary. We're not going to make any adjustments on this hinge at all. We're going to adjust this hinge right here. Now when this hinge sticks out from the bottom of the refrigerator it comes straight out and over time it tends to turn outwards kind of like my finger is. So what we're going to end up doing is using the hammer to bend that hinge this way. That way this bottom part of the door goes to the left and by this part of the door going to the left it's going to raise the handle up just a little bit to close that gap on top of the door there. Let me show you one more problem that you might have and we're going to take a look at the, at the light switch for the refrigerator here. Now this little bump on the door is kind of like a it'll let this door sag without causing any problems longer you know what I mean the point of this switch has to hit under here so it can go closed if the point of this switch hits the front of this or goes over top then what you're going to have is the door is going to go closed hit that switch and then stop and then you won't be able to close the door unless maybe you lift up on it and then it might go closed so a lot of times you might have an issue with the door will go, it'll hit the switch, and then it won't close completely because the door's sagging down too low on the handle side. So now let's get into adjusting it. The first thing that I'm going to do is because I need to get access to the right side of this hinge right here, I need to hit it with a hammer this way to point it more towards the center of the refrigerator instead of off to the, off to the right side there. So I'm going to pull the refrigerator out and turn it a little bit so I have room to get to the right side of that hinge. I'm going to do that before I take the doors off. Now underneath the hinge are some 3 8 bolts and we're only going to loosen those up. Just loosen them up most of the way. That way we can lift the hinge up a little bit and pull the door off. And that's a 3 8 if I didn't say that. Now that we got the screws up about a half inch or so, you can pop the hinge up and now the top of the door is going to be free from the refrigerator. So you just want to pull the top away, lift it up, and then set it right down against something like a wall. That way your stuff doesn't spill out. So now I'm going to try to be quick about this, that way my food doesn't get all ruined. And that's how you take the door off, the freezer door. Now you have another 3 8 bolt right here on the center hinge. And we're just going to go ahead and take that out. Once that's out, pull the top of the door away, lift it up, take it over and set it against the wall. That way it's standing straight up and you don't have to take everything off the doors. Now if you have big glass bottles or something like that, you might want to take them off so you don't drop them. And 
what I'm going to do is put the hinge back in, this hinge pin, and put my freezer door back on. Try to keep some of the cold in. So here's a look at the bottom hinge that sticks out from the bottom of the refrigerator here, probably about two inches or so. And here's the hinge pin. And there is a washer on here. You want to make sure you have a you have your washer and it's in good shape. And the next thing you want to do is make sure the two bolts are tight, which these ones are. And then once you have the bolts are tight and generally what happens is sheet metal kind of pulls away a little bit and it lets this hinge kind of come this way point to the point to the right so what I'm going to do is use my hammer and persuade it to go to the left so I kind of have a good perspective here and if you're listening and it's quiet you might want to turn the volume down I'm going to give you two seconds to do that I'm not sure how loud this is going to be but I'm going to give it a couple whacks. So if your volume's down, and let me move this back over. Now you can see the hinge is to the left just a little bit more, maybe an eighth of an inch or almost a quarter of an inch more than what it used to be. And after you do that, you want to double check. Make sure these are tight. Now I'm going to put the door back on and we're going to check the gap. Alright, now I put the refrigerator and the freezer door back on. I did not tighten the freezer hinge because I'm going to show you one more thing about that when I'm done showing you this gap. So now the refrigerator door closes and I can't see inside the refrigerator over top of the gasket here. So the refrigerator door was successful. And So what happens sometimes is when you raise this up and you tighten the hinge down, now your two handles might rub. So let me show you what to do with the freezer door when you, before you tighten the hinge up all the way. So the first thing you're going to do is tighten the bolts down just before they start touching the actual metal part of the hinge. You want the hinge to still be able to move under the head of the bolt. So we're just going to tighten them down almost all the way. And the hinge can still move and that's what we want we just want it to be close right now now let me show you what what I'm trying to explain here all right so what we're looking at now is this is this is the cabinet this is the door obviously and if you follow the line across the front of the refrigerator you can see that the hinge side the door is much higher than the cabinet and we're going to apply the same principle that we did to the refrigerator door we want this hinge to move that way and it's going to raise the handle side of the door up a little bit so let me see if I can kind of demonstrate this so if I push with my palm to the right and kind of see how the hinge moves a little bit so we're going to push this to the right it's going to kind of line up a lot better it's going to give us a nice even space down here and then while we're holding this over, we're going to tighten up those hinge bolts the rest of the way. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to put the camera down and do that. All right, so those hinge bolts are tight. And if we follow across the front, the, the, ref the refrigerator cabinet is not sticking up past the freezer door. And now down here, we have a nice even space and a good gap between the handles. And if you guys didn't notice, my microwave does not have... A push button on it because it broke. Let me show you how I operate this. I know this is a little off topic. <laughs> I thought you guys would enjoy that. But again, hinge top hinge is tight so we can put the cap back on and this is done. That's how you adjust the doors. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. I know this is probably going to help a lot of people out. It's very simple. 
minimal tools, and you don't need any parts to adjust the doors on your top freezer refrigerators. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. That's always appreciated, and thanks for watching.